Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Quasi, and today we're speaking on a topic near and dear to my heart, and that's M&A activity in the mining industry. Uh, our corporate theory at CVLT has been you can make more money with the pen than with the drill bit. And our guest today, Douglas Hertz, geologist, is going to explain why he and his teams believe the same thing. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks so much for having me, Peter. It's wonderful. Now, you and I only met through our friend Dylan, so I thank Dylan for putting us together. December the 7th, Eclipse and Northern Vertex announced that they were going to do a merger. Can you walk us through the highlights of the merger? Sure. Um, well, so the uh, so the CEO of Eclipse is a guy named Mike Allen, and uh, so Mike and I pulled together a company called Northern Empire a couple of years ago, and uh, we were looking for other assets uh, to buy or merge with or to do a deal with, and Northern Empire. Uh, was just over the uh, Nevada border in Arizona, and they were developing great mining. Great mining jurisdiction. It's a wonderful jurisdiction, absolutely. It's a great place to work for sure. And uh, so uh, we we started to get to know the guys at Vertex, and uh, um, and we looked at the mine, and the mine uh, uh, was just in its early stages of development. So they were sort of working their way through teething problems. And uh, um, and then uh, we were offered a buyout by Coor Mining, and so Northern Empire disappeared. We uh, we took the best elements of Northern Empire and we retooled it into a company, which we listed in February called Eclipse. And uh, Eclipse right away reengaged with Vertex. The Eclipse it's listed on the Venture Exchange. That's correct. Uh, the symbol is E G L D. Yeah, Eclipse Gold. And uh, we re-engaged with, uh, with Vertex with the idea that, uh, uh, you know, we would try to revive the deal that uh, we were talking about uh, with our previous company. And, uh, 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 and so Vertex at, at that point had just started to, uh, you know, work through its teething problems. And they're, 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 uh, they're decent operators and they've managed to do that. But it's one of those companies that, uh, doesn't have a very big profile. It's kind of in the shadows. It's just below institutional radar. 50,000 ounces a year is a, is a nice mine, but you know you want to get it to 100 before people, you know, before the market really begins to take pay attention. That's like an oil and gas company doing 100 barrels a year. Exactly. Exactly. It's very similar. Very similar, right? And uh, so. There are no investment dealers in Canada that cover uh, cover this company with research. Uh, they're okay at investor relations, but they didn't they they really didn't understand capital markets, and uh, and that's something that our company is rich in. It has lots of that kind of experience, and uh, you know so I mean if you look at the orbit uh, of uh, the directors and uh, insiders and people that we've done business with. Uh, you know, there are half a dozen transactions that have happened in the last four years. Yeah, those are all listed in the those are listed in the company presentation, and it's a pretty impressive list of M and A. Yeah, yeah, no, it's you know, uh, well, we you know, collectively the group has been doing it for twenty years, and there's uh, uh, there's a big long list of uh, uh, of those kinds of things, but those are the recent ones. So yeah, um, so, and so, so it, sorry, the, it's touted as a at market merger. Yep. And both companies have roughly the same number of shares out, and they're both trading at roughly the same price. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. What do you think the market is saying about your transaction? Um, well, so uh, so uh, uh, there are people that bought Eclipse with the idea that it was going to uh, be an exploration story and that it was going to have a binary outcome. And the binary outcome means that you get drilling success and you make five times your money, or you have drilling failure and you lose half or more of your money, right? And so when we announced, uh, uh, so when we announced this, uh, uh, um, you know, a whole bunch of people uh, uh, jumped overboard. That's not the company that I invested in. But the businessman in us says, you know what, if we merge with a company that has uh, production and positive cash flow, all of a sudden your downside is limited, 
Yeah, it decreases the number of problems you have, decreases your risk profile, moves your risk return into a different quadrant. Dramatically, dramatically. So we still think that there's, you know, and, and the wonderful thing about the Moss mine is that there's a lot of blue sky there and it's right next to an operating mine and, and it's going to directly affect uh, the value of these assets just using the drill rig. Um, but there are no assets being spun out, right? All the assets in each of the companies will remain in the resulting issuer. That's correct. So, so Eclipse is bringing an asset to the table called Hercules. And uh, Hercules is about an hour drive from Reno. And uh, uh, surface samples, uh, 390 surface samples averaged a gram. So that's on the surface in Nevada, which is, we couldn't believe we found this thing. And uh, now there is a historical legacy of drilling, almost 300 drill holes, and every one of them were drilled the wrong way. Well, so now we're getting into 43101 territory. So read the disclaimer. These are historic non-compliant holes. Exactly, they are. They are. And so we have not, uh, we've not, we've not really uh, 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 revealed what they what they showed because uh, uh, because you're right. They're they're before 43101. They're not compliant. But they they do they, they do serve to inform your knowledge of the property, and you're obviously happy with them. Yes. Yes, we are. So, okay. uh, uh, so we've been figuring out the geology there, and uh, the last round of drilling, we drilled uh, over 20 holes, and uh, we were hoping to get our results in November, but assay labs are so jammed right now that uh, uh, that we won't get those results until late January, even early February. Is that RC? Uh, it was all RC, that's correct. Uh, bags yeah. of gravel. Yeah. See, yeah. I like Northern Ontario, you get that core, you get to hold on to it. <laughs> no, that's true. Now, uh, so uh, so the, uh, there was some historic drilling where they uh, did some core. So we have that as a geological record. Oh, okay. Uh, um, but, what, why do the deal when you have drill holes pending? Yeah, you know what? Uh, um, uh, you do the deal when it when it comes. And we've been negotiating with these guys for eight months, and it happened to land in, in December. And uh, we would rather have drill holes out, but. You know what? We even looked at shipping samples to Peru, thinking that the assay labs in Peru might be better. Really? No. Wow. So you know what? You do the deal when you signed it. So some people do m a because they're kind of skanky and they just want a series of payout bonuses. Nobody's yeah. getting one here. No. So, uh, so if the merger goes ahead, the uh, you know when the merger goes ahead, Eclipse is CFO. Uh, will uh, will get a, a, a control bonus uh, because she's not going to be part of the new entity, but everybody else is going over. That's nice yeah. to see. That puts money in the treasury where it belongs. Helps the shareholders. It does. So the other thing, uh, the other thing, Peter, is that uh, uh, management of Eclipse has signed up uh, to hold their stock for a year. So there's hold agreements. Nice. And these deals are complex. Now, I was telling you about before we started about a transaction that one of our companies is in. It took literally 30 seconds to negotiate the transaction. Uh, the guy on the other side is a friend. We we're both honest and transparent. It's opportunistic. Other times it takes a long time, and this seems to be one that's been in the works for a bit. Yeah, yeah. You, you do it when it's there. Well, and you do it when it's there. Um, you know, and so 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 for the merged identity, we see that the. Uh, um, now the downside risk is uh, covered, or a big part of that downside risk is covered. And so now the risk reward ratio uh, is as good or better as Eclipse, uh, but the downside has been muted dramatically. Fantastic. So what's the next step at Hercules? You get the holes back, you release the assays, uh, ground truthing, aerial, mag. Yeah, so we've done, we've done a good chunk of that already. And uh, um, because it's in northern Nevada and, and a little higher elevation, we're kind of wintered out until March or April. Uh, so there'll be another drill campaign this summer. What about at Moss? How high is that? Yeah, so, so southern Nevada, northern Arizona is dramatically warmer and we can drill all year round. Anything that I missed that you want to tell us about? Well, you know what? Um, uh, so, uh, so the guys at Vertex have done a good job in building and operating and, and uh, uh, cleaning up the operations of this mine. 
Uh, so it's so it's now generating very positive cash flow. Uh, it's you know uh, on a, a quarterly basis. If you multiply that by four, production uh, uh, will be about 50, you know 45 to 50 thousand ounces. Um, and those ounces are making great cash flow. So operating cash flow last quarter was about was just under 12 million US. Um, and so that was about six million six million US when you run it through the accounts. So that must mean the all-in sustaining cost is rather low, or relatively low. So, so the all-in sustaining cost the last quarter was thirteen hundred dollars, but three hundred dollars of that was a leach pad expansion. So the leach pad will now be able to handle uh, the entire uh, sort of four hundred, four to five hundred thousand ounce resource. Nice. And I also see that uh, Northern Vertex recently drilled at Moss, fifteen meters of three point three five grams. Yeah, so that's a new discovery. That's in the wall of the pit, and it's called the Ruth vein, uh, and it's pretty early days on that. So we don't really know what to make of that. But so so right now, Vertex has three drills going within the patented claims within the mine, um, uh, the the permitted boundaries of the mine, and uh, um, and to date on that kilometer and a half stretch of the Moss structure, the Moss vein. They've outlined about a half a million ounces of resources. And uh, uh, we look at the, the geology map and outside of the patented claims, it's uh, a different permitting exercise. And uh, so that's on BLM ground, Bureau of Land Management ground, and the permitting process is just different. But, fair, but fairly standard, you're not inventing anything new here. No, no. And so permitting outside of the patented ground uh, was something they had no energy or capital for because they were busy developing a mine. And you have the ability to do that. We do. So so they've now permitted 500 drill sites on 10 kilometers of vein outside of the patented ground. There's old mine workings. There are surface grab samples with gold. And that's our upside. So you think of a kilometer and a half with a half a million ounces and 10 kilometers of vein to explore there's very significant upside here. So the merger really is of equals one plus one equals three. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Or so <laughs> uh, when do you think you're going to close? Uh, so uh, so so the financing we figure will close uh, the first week of January, um, and the uh, and the merger will close uh, sort of uh, the the end of February. You need shareholder approval. Uh, yes. Okay, and that's, that's the delay. So Vertex does not, but Eclipse does. Why doesn't Vertex need shareholder approval? Uh, because it's a smaller transaction. It's not enough of their capitalization for them to need shareholder approval. So it's a reviewable transaction, not a fundamental change. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep. I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. Um, Very good. I thank you for your time today. I learned a lot. No, a wonderful discussion, Peter. Thank you so much for your time. Douglas Hurst on the Eclipse Gold Northern Vertex merger. You can make more money with your pen than with your drill bit. Peter Clausey signing off at Investor Intel. Bye, everyone.